Hi folks, this is Bill from Iona Homestead, and I'm out here today. It's kind of late in the season. I think uh, the next day or so is going to be the equinox, and the 21st of September. Um, I just thought I'd show a quick, you know, here's what, what I do. Um, this is what I call my veggie wagon, and as you can see, I've got some larger tomatoes, some smaller tomatoes, some peppers, some pumpkins, some cucumbers, some more pumpkins, some squash, uh, scallop squash, patty pan squash, ghost pumpkins, garlic, more peppers, and to do something a little different because I like to do different things. Um, so everything, first of all, I also have fresh um, herbs that I can go and chop up for you and get some. Everything is from our backyard gardens. No imports, no foreign, nothing it comes from my backyard. Do you know where your food comes from? Now you do. Oh, and then some small peppers. They're all sweet peppers too. Um, but I'm doing this now, I'm gonna see, see if I can just zoom in. I'll, I'll put information down below. This guy over here, he's a great guy. His kid, awesome kid. Gary uh, is going to be getting a kidney transplant and I don't think anybody can actually read this. Well, maybe you can, I don't know. I'll leave it just for a few seconds as I'm talking. He got a, he's going to be having the tr kidney transplant. Everything's good there. That's a blessing. But, you know, he'll be out of work for 12 weeks while he's recovering. And he doesn't have a, like a civil service job where they're just going to pay him when he's home. So he is going to be financially strapped. So all of my tomato, pepper, and veggies, my, my garlic, everything that I've got that I can put out, that I can sell, I'm going to send the proceeds to Gary's GoFundMe. Uh, it's Gary Butera. B-U-T-E-R-A. I believe the website for the GoFundMe is Gary Butera. Um, and so basically the setup here is a self-serve um, garden vegetable stand. And as I back out, you get a better view of just, you know, a little cute wagon. I also have another wagon, which is a big international harvester hay wagon, which is completely inappropriate for my, my property, <laughs> but I have it. And I have all the leftover plants I have from the season, which vary. I mean, I've got echinacea here. Look, it's about to bloom. Um, there's zinnias, there's mums, there's basil, there's more mums, there's more echinacea, there's dill. Look at this. We got the dill. Okay. It's getting up here. This is probably about two foot tall. And then <laughs> I was corrected. I didn't realize this is chamomile. So I've got some chamomile as well. And although I haven't seen one in a few weeks now, the caterpillars love this stuff. But I haven't seen anything on it uh, in a little while now. So good for the dill and chamomile, bad for the caterpillars. You can hear the traffic in the background. That's um, just the typical afternoon, morning traffic. Um, over here we have just things that we didn't bother transplanting. Some thyme. We have some, I think this is... Rosemary, uh, this is marjoram, marjoram, sweet marjoram, how you would pronounce it, say it. In here, believe it or not, these are eggplants, so, so an eggplant kit. We didn't plant them, I just kept them alive, because why not? We also had some pink celery, so I tell people if you want to try something really good, grab a piece, it's pink, and boy, does it taste like celery. It's like mega celery, it's super strong. You throw one of these into a, a Bloody Mary, that's all you need. <laughs> you don't need more than that one little stalk. It's pretty, pretty impressive as I eat it. Okay, so then we have more zinnias, and this is the whole basil graveyard here. Um, we have three kinds of basils this year. My first batch of regular Genovese basil failed to the frost, but then I replaced it with black opal, um, lemon, and cinnamon. And they were really crab happy. You know, they kept people kind of happy. Now, I'm leaving this all to go to flower, or it's gone to flower. I'm leaving it here. If people are interested in seeds for next year, I'll give them a plant. But I'm hoping to be able to pull seeds off of these and use them for next year. Because it was tricky, oddly enough, to get basil seeds when I wanted them. Oh, there's a sunflower that's seen better days, but let's see. Just looking to see if there's sunflowers in there. Nah, it looks like it's been, looks like it rotted out a little bit. 
up, but wait. Nope, that's a different one. I thought maybe there's another flower coming. So this is uh, where we're at this point time of the year. Um, just this much in the way of our vegetables. And as I kind of take a quick peek, there's some parsley, kale, some zinnias. I know over here I have some sorrel, some echinacea, another, ooh, look at this. This one's actually blooming or bloomed. I didn't see it. Maybe it will. Hmm. I hope it blooms. Um, sunflowers. And then I want to say that this is not rosemary. It's um, 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 lavender. That's it. As we head to the back, I'm just going to go from the fence over here and zoom in. But um, the garden is, uh, needless to say, coming to the end. And from here, I'm going to try and zoom in without losing you. But if I zoom in, there we go. I know I can see from here that there's still some tomatoes and cucumbers. I know I can see them too from here. Um, as I'm heading to the right, oops, you can see that there's a little trellisy thing there. Down at the base of that, to the right of it, there's more tomatoes. And then the back way back there is my pumpkin patch, which is producing now. So it's kind of coming to the end of the season. We've got some of the equipment getting ready to be put away. There's a trailer with a yard's worth of potting soil in here or to build a, top, uh, a raised bed. So I'm going to empty that out and build a raised bed. So this is it. This is the look down the driveway to our retail location. <laughs> so this is Iona Homestead and um, the veggie wagon. The only advertising we do is on um, an app called Nextdoor. And if you're interested in woofing, drop us a line through the Woof USA website. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.